music the right way as um Garnet Silk is a famous Jamaican reggae and dancehall artist. He's one of the legends of reggae who seems to gain fame instantly with his astonishing voice. He loves and cares by Miss Lovey, his partner. Garnet Silk have four children, two daughters and two boys, Arema Smith, Wazira Smith, Garnet Silk Jr. and Fabian Smith. As a child growing up, Silk attended the Hatsfield Primary School. El Chapo Scott TV. This or this, that or that. Check El Chapo Scott for the best review anytime. Check that. Know your settings. His full name is Garnet Damian Smith. Born the 2nd of April 1966. He would be 56 years old at the time of this production. His son signed Aries. Let me tell you that Silk have two religions, Christianity and Rastafarian. Garnet is known for his diverse, emotive, powerful and smooth voice. During the early 1990s, Garnet was hailed as a rising talent. However, Garnet affiliates with the labels such as VP Records, Greensleeve Records, Heartbeat Records, Atlantic Records, and when it come to associate acts, it would be with the Japossels. Garnet Silk was born in Manchester, Jamaica, where his musical career began at the age of 12 when he performed under the name Little Bimbo. During the 1980s, Garnet worked as a DJ and sound system such as Conquering Lion, Soul Remembrance, Pepper's Disco, Stereophonic and Destiny Out National, where he first met Tony Rebel. Garnet recorded his first track in 1985, but it would be two years later before his first single entitled Problem Everywhere was released. An album of material from this period journey was later released in 1988. Garnet joined Sugar Miners youth promotion label, releasing the song entitled No Disrespect and working regularly with Tony Rebel. Smith now being Bill Simple as Bimbo, the pair began perform as a duo around the sound system to much acclaim the Garnet Silk meets the Conquering Lion a dub plate selection album date from about this time and features a clutch of exclusive recording the DJ cut for the sound system from the mid 1980s through the end of the decade Rebla Rastafari eventually converts Smith to his religion with the help of dub poet Yasus Afari a close friend of the both DJs In 1989, at the suggestion of veteran singer Derek Morgan, Garnet turned from DJing to singing with a recording session at Bonnie Lee's studio with Rebel, including tracks recorded separately as a duo and with Anthony Selassie. Garnet began working under his real name. The Heartbeat labels Tony Rebel meets Garnet Silk in a dancehall conference, compiled these early Morgan overseen recordings. The success of this session led him to continue as a singer, going on to work with producer King Toby, Prince Jammy, and Donovan Jermaine, before singing a two-year contract with Steely and Clivey in 1990, recording an album worth of song for them. It was the production duo who decided to change his name to Garnet Silk, in reference to his smooth voice. Only one of the tracks recorded during this period with the song entitled We Can Be Together a duet with Chivel Franklin was actually released at the time and discouraged by this. However, Garnet returned to Manchester and threw himself into songwriting, often in partnership with an old friend called Anthony. By the 1992, Silk was in Kingston in the studio with producer Bobby Digital, recording his debut album, It's Growing. Split between deeply cultural themes, spiritual songs and romantic numbers, the album went on to become one of the best selling in Jamaica that year. And Silk had his first major hit single entitled Hey Mama Africa and that song was produced by Richard Bella Bell for the Star Trail label which was Silk's first international hit and top the reggae chart in Britain. Over the next two years, the singer would record with most of the major name producers on the island. 
both on his own and in partnership with Tony Rebel. Silk cut a suite of songs with King Jammy, including Fill Us With Your Mercy and Lord Watch Over Our Shoulders. The latter track titled a 1994 compilation released by the Green Sea label in the UK and boasts even jammy cuts and a clutch of hits for another producer. And um, I'm on CI self. In 1993, the goal released by the UK tram label bundled up more hits from his period. Amongst them was Zion in a Vision, a Jamaican number one cut with producer Jack Scorpio as well as Hey Mama Africa. Granite Seal also recorded for Sly and Robbie, including the deep religious song entitled Thank You Ja and the haunting Green Lime. But the pace was becoming too much and Garnet Seal collapsed during a show at the Ritz in New York City, suffering from low blood pressure and exhaustion. The exhaust singer was forced to cancel all his scheduled appearance for the next six months. Most crucial of all, what would have been his debut at Reggae Sunfest. However, Garnet Seal bounced back in 1994 and set back to work. In a show of good grace, Garnet Seal rejoined Steely and Cleavy and cut the song entitled Love Is The Answer. Single another massive hit, Fight Back, produced by Richie Steven, was next up. By then, the singer was ready to retake the stage, which he did with a vengeance headlining that year Reggae Sound Fest and Reggae Sound Splash Festival. His set at the latter event was captured for the live at Reggae Sound Flesh in 1994 album, released in 1990 by the Taboo One label. Silk's backing band was Jap Hustle, who originally formed in the late 1970s. Another encounter with Tony Rebel brought an introduction to Courtney Cole, the owner of the Roof International label. Garnet Silk would record a plethora of songs at the producer, Ocherius studio amongst them, were the hits such as Mama, Seven Spanish Angels, and a cover of the Johnny Nash classic entitled I Can See Clearly Now. The Roof International would posthumously bundle up these early singles and other material, record at this time for the Nothing Can Divide Us album, which a VP label pick up for the US. By 1992, Garnet Silk was in Kingston in the studio with producer Bobby Digital, recording his debut album, It's Growing, split between deep cultural themes, spiritual songs, and romantic numbers. The album went on to become one of the best selling in Jamaica that year. Garnet had his first major hit single, entitled Hey Mama Africa, produced by Richard. Bello Bell for the Star Trail label, which was Silk's first international hit and topped the reggae chart in Britain. Over the next two years, the singer would record with most of the major name producers on the island, both on his own and in his partnership with Tony Rebel. He cut a suite of songs with King Jammy, including Fill Us With Your Mercy and Lord Watch Over Us, Over Shoulders. A picture of Garnet Silk mother, Miss Etiga Gray, and also a picture of Garnet Silk car that he was driving while he was alive, and a picture of Garnet Silk house where his family, well, some of his family is still staying right now. And viewers and subscribers, respect for the comment and the subscribers, them, yeah, and for the newcomer, them, big up on yourself and anything. We don't get in it, you don't know, we're not perfect, you see me, that's a good analogy, a knowledge of what I'm going on with the reggae them. So El, El Chapa Scott TV to keep the reggae artists them alive and also the dance all them. So big up on yourself and respect. Man Wicked, yo, I wonder which artist I forgot to do you now. Hmm? Cha-cha.